What's going on folks? So we're in the new studio and this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing a style haul with Selfridges, Sandro, Burberry and Mr Porter. So I've got some cracking clothes and some items to show you. This is going to be uh, pretty cool because it's all nice and bright here now. And the first one is coming up right now. So this is the, uh, the All Saints suede jacket. Uh, with the uh, Y3 trainers, so I quite like this look because it's uh, it's very lightweight, it's um, suede material, it's got a really nice feel and texture to it as well, and it's really light too, so you can probably wear this in the summer as well, sort of a spring summer jacket really. Uh, this was originally on £345, I got it for something like 130 so a really good discount on this one. The trainers, uh, I'm a really big fan of, so the Yoji Yamamoto uh, Y3 Adidas uh, combos, um, they're made of neoprene and a bit of rubber as well and the soles are Anibus soles so they're really comfortable when you're sort of walking around. You could probably run in them but I wouldn't um, recommend you running them because they're not really designed to be uh, you know, an athletic shoe. I think these would go with quite a lot of dark outfits because they don't really sort of stand out as much as you know, white or bright trainers would. Uh, these trainers are ideal for sort of like, you know, just casually sort of having a walk to the shops in or maybe even just having a kind of, yeah, I suppose you could go out in them as well. You wouldn't want to go out in them too much though, they'd probably get wrecked I reckon. But they do look pretty good, I'm a big fan of this uh, look and I can see myself wearing this one quite a lot in the summer as well as in the winter too. Now this is an outfit that I absolutely love, I reckon I could wear this one out uh, on like an evening out perhaps. Uh, the polo neck jacket and uh, light kind of trousers uh, as well as dark shoes, they all seem to uh, zing pretty well. It's not usually the sort of thing I'd go for, but I thought expe I'd experiment a bit with this one. I really have to say I really like it. This is the uh, Ralph Lauren jacket, um, and this jacket costs I think around 400 normally, but I got it for at least half price. So again, a decent deal with this one, but the thing I like about this jacket is it's a really, really fine thread, um, and it actually feels almost fleece-like to touch. Uh, so this is a really, really good quality jacket from Ralph Lauren with the gold buttons as well, which I absolutely love. Detail on it is just sublime. Um, I think I probably need to get it shortened as it's slightly long for my uh, body size, I think, at the moment. So I'll definitely get it uh, shortened. The trousers I quite like because they go in many ways because even though I wouldn't necessarily wear these, you know, with an outfit normally, I think that with a dark top and potentially dark shoes, I think it actually kind of zings pretty well. So these are from Club Monaco, these trousers. Uh, they're linen and they are sort of very holiday-like in their sort of look and feel. Um, you can kind of get away with wearing these with a dark outfit or you could probably wear them, you know, with a nice shirt, like a white shirt as well. I think that would look pretty good uh, with these uh, trousers too. Uh, they're very lightweight as well, so they're very breathable, so you sort of feel like, you know, they're, they're kind of, they're not really weighing on you too much. They're not like a kind of proper pair of jeans or, you know, a heavy pair of trousers. These are really lovely to wear. They're like sort of sweatpants if you like. And the shoes as well, I really absolutely adore these shoes. I reckon these are in my top three shoes I think I've ever got. They're um, Commons Project shoes. I've never had a pair of Commons Projects before. They're really, really stylish, really, really cool. They're made of suede uh, on the upper and on the soles. They've got like a rubbery gum type sole which is uh, really different because um, they get good grip when you're walking around so obviously if you, you ain't gonna fall over if you're on like a bit of a, uh, a stumbly night out for example but the thing I like about these is that they they all have their own unique identifier number on them so each pair of shoes that this brand makes they've each got a different number so you know that this is a one-of-a-kind project I know I've been sold by that but um, yeah I think it actually works really well I, I think the uh, the shoes are really, really cool. They're really, really sleek. Um, the suede and the dark suede, so I don't think they'll get too messy and too uh, scuffed, really, unless you know wear them out and about all the time. But I think they're really good going out shoes. They're very stylish. Well, the blue blazer and the blue uh, shoes go really well together, I think. Uh, with a blue belt, of course, so that's one of my own. And um, the turtleneck, the polo neck, is a Michael Kors one. This is actually really warm. It's merino wool and um, it's really fine thread too, so it keeps all the heat in. I'm actually starting to sweat now. This is actually a really warm outfit, so I don't think I'd wear this with the jacket on a, on a summer night out or a spring night out, but definitely in the winter, I think it would keep you nice and warm. So I'm a big fan of this look. So this next item, I am really pleased with it. It's the uh, Reese Velvet Smoking Jacket. It reminds me of something out of Kingsman, that film. Um, where they have amazing jackets and amazing uh, menswear. Now this is um, a really detailed uh, velvet jacket from uh, Reese, which is a high street brand, and it's around 250 normally. I think I got it for again at least half price. I've been like literally snapping at the bargains as they've been coming along. It's quite snug, so again, it's one of those ones where I think um, you probably wear it with quite a fitted outfit, um, quite a sleek outfit, a smart outfit. Although I haven't really gone too smart with this one now. I've just left the Club Monaco trousers on with 
uh, white trainers and a uh, white t-shirt as well underneath. And you could definitely wear it with a shirt too, a white shirt ideally. Possibly a bow tie if you're going for that sort of look or even just a normal tie. Um, but, the, um, but the pearls are a different colour to the um, the main body of the jacket so I think that actually gives it a bit of more, a bit more of a distinguished look anyway for sure so uh, the material though is so lovely it's just you know a really like pristine velvet um, the color is electric blue I believe but it looks more like petrol blue to me and you know I think under the lights and under you know sunlight particularly it will look really really good and on a night out as well it looks incredibly smart too so I think that you know this jacket is a winner Now this one is, I have to say, this was a bit adventurous for me to go for straight off the bat, but I saw it online and it's from Burberry uh, and I'm really in love with it already. It's a, it's a strange one because it's a, a really, really lightweight uh, jacket. So this jacket's made out of um, really fine uh, cotton and it has the texture of a shirt, to be honest. So you put it on and it feels like you're wearing a shirt. So you sort of feel like, oh, actually, maybe I shouldn't wear anything under this. But trust me, with a big gaping hole here, you do want to wear something under it. So I'm wearing this Ted Baker shirt that I got from Selfridges. Uh, it's actually uh, quite loose fitting, supposedly, but maybe it's for me that I've just packed on a few extra pounds. I'll lose a bit of weight, it's all good. Um, but the shirt, I think, and the jacket go quite well together. Light blue and dark blue um, works extremely light blue. It's really, really pale blue, much paler than I imagined it would be, actually. I thought it'd be a bit um, more um, sort of more on the sky blue side of things. But yeah, it actually kind of works really well. I quite like the look and the image of this. It's very sort of um, at Miami Beach, if you like. Um, but I think this could work well as a, a winter or summer outfit, mainly. Uh, I think this colour is probably more of a summer outfit, but I think in terms of a winter outfit, you could certainly wear a roll neck under it or a jumper underneath it and it would still be equally fine. So the trousers again are from Burberry, they're a chino style trouser and they're really light, um, really well fitted um, and I think that they're quite they're slim fitted so they, they sort of work with most outfits um, and I think they go well with smart or casual sort of feels really. And, um, it's again a really fine material, so I think you'll see that um, you know the, the sort of lightweight feel, the lightweight design kind of works well with you know most sort of like things you can wear with a navy style chino. So it, I don't think there's any problems what these will go with. Um, and again, I've just gone with white shoes for now, but you could probably wear any types of shoe uh, with sort of outfit. But I'm really impressed with the uh, the look of how bright this jacket is with the rest of the outfit. I think you could wear it with a white shirt underneath or you could wear it with a, a darker shirt depending on what sort of look you want to go for. But again, I think Burberry have delivered on this one. And last but not least, it's the Sandro top. Um, it's a green, white and black and a bit of blue in there camouflage top. And it is one of those ones that you can just wear it pretty much anywhere with anything, with any coat. Um, and it's really comfortable. It's made of 60% uh, cotton, 35% polyester and 5% elastic. So it's got a bit of give in it as well. It's just one of these sort of all round tops that you can wear around any time of the year. Probably more so the winter and the autumn rather than the spring summer because it is relatively thick. But I really like the design. I think camo and sort of um, army print is really in at the moment. Just sort of teamed it up with the Burberry trousers and the white shoes, the white trainers. Um, I think most sort of like trousers could go well with it. Preferably dark, I reckon. I think there actually is a tracksuit uh, or a sweatpant uh, variety to go with the top as well. So I didn't go for that option, but it would definitely work if you were to get the all-in-one. And there's a hoodie as well. So thank you very much indeed for watching this uh, winter wardrobe star haul and I'm really hoping that you'll like some of the designs that I've picked out and some of the outfits that I've picked out and you know it is literally all stuff in the sales. Again this was something I picked up for about 50% off so most of the stuff have got big reductions on them. Very lucky to have got them. My sizes are quite popular normally, medium to sort of medium large. So thank you very much indeed for watching this. If you've got any suggestions, what you like, what you don't like, please write them in the comments below. It's been a pleasure being with you today and please like, subscribe and hit the notifications button on the bottom of the channel and I'll see you again very soon indeed.